welcome friends so in our last session i had given you lots of sentences for self practice at your home have you gone through all the sentences have you written the answers of all the blank marks so just try to cross check it in this period today i am going to answer all the blank give you the answers of all the blanks open your notebook once again try to recheck match it first sentence dash your sitter in school yesterday so this yesterday is the past tense simple past tense here only one blank mark is there and b is there so past tense form of b is was and were so your sister is in singular form so we have to write down was your sister in school yesterday is it correct does your answer match with this answer okay sir if it is right then you deserve some praise sir where day should dash next sunday so next sunday this denotes simple future tense in simple future tense what we exactly do we use shall or will with the basic form of the verb here two blank mark are there so in the first blank mark you write down will the same be is the basic form first form this is interrogative sentence beginning with a question mark so where will you be next sunday in the third sentence i have given you at 4 o'clock yesterday so when some reference of time is given in the past so it is continuous past tense that means some action was in progress at the time of speaking friends so this is continuous past tense we have already identified it then now the answer will be was sweta reading at 5 o'clock this is the correct answer in fourth sentence why does your brother now so this now is the main keyword to identify the tense friends so we use now in continuous present tense so as soon as you identify the tense just try to remember the helping verb as well as the main verb or the formula so am is a plus verb with ing is used in continuous present tense so why is your brother crying now next one dash maya dash to school regularly so daily every day regularly sometime generally these are the keywords for simple present tense and in simple present tense we have two formula for third person singular he she we have separate formula so this maya is third person singular friends so the answer will be my third person so i have to use does maya go to school regularly next one how much work dash so dash last week to so friends last week denotes simple past tense this is the interrogative sentence beginning with a question mark we have already learned the formula for the simple past tense so these are, there are two blanks so in simple past tense in negative and interrogative sentence we use did as a helping verb and with did along with did we have to use the first form of the verb so how much work did sonu do last week next sonu dash that picture yesterday yesterday did not simple past tense this is the affirmative sentence so you have already discussed you have already learned the formula of affirmative sentence in simple past what are the formula friend subject plus past tense form of the verb plus object so according to that formula we have to write down the answer so the past tense of drop is do 
So the correct answer will be sonal dream. Now the next sentence. My friend met with an accident while he dashed the road. In the bracket you can see I have given a cross. So this is an important sentence because why is that? With while in the first part of the sentence I have used the past tense form of meet. So when we come across with when and why along with the past tense form of the verb or we too the answer in the next part of the sentence will be from continuous past tense so this is past tense of meet this is why so the answer will be was where plus ing here i have given you the subject he so my friend met with an accident while he was crossing the road. So sentence number 9 Rahi dash chemistry at this time tomorrow. So here the keyword is at this time tomorrow. It denotes continuous future time. So the answer will be Rahi will be ready. Sentence number 10 My brother dash TV when I went home. So when is accompanied by with the past tense form of go. So when plus V2 it denotes some reference of time. So it is continuous past tense. Now this is affirmative sentence. I have to use was where plus was with ing. So my brother is singular. So the answer will be was watching. Third one, 11. Look, those boys dash cricket. So, look denotes continuous present tense. And we have the formula. M is R plus W with ING. So, boys, this is plural now. So, we have to use R. Playing. Now next, water dash is old level. So in this sentence, I had not given you any keyword. So this is scientific truth. It is always denoted in simple present tense. And water is the third person singular. And the sentence is affirmative. So we have to use that formula. Subject plus verb with S or ES. So water finds its old level. This is the correct answer. Now next, there dash a play. So we have already learned this point. If the sentence begins with here and there and ends with exclamation mark, it is simple present tense. So play is singular. So I will write down there goes a play. Sentence 14, dash behind dash a new car next week. So next week denotes simple feature tense. I have given you have in the bracket. For simple feature tense, we have the formula shall or will plus basic form of the verb. So we have a third person singular. So I will write down will Neha have a new car next week. Now next sentence. Dash Vinal and Gauri at home last Sunday. So last Sunday is the this is the keyword to identify the tense. So this is simple past tense friends. And I have given you B is in the bracket mark. So past tense form of B is was and where. Now the subject is Vinal and Gauri. So when two singular nouns are joined by and it is plural. So, we have to write down where. Where Vinal and Gauri at home last Sunday. Now the last sentence. It dash heavily at this time yesterday. So friend, I have given some reference of time 
in the past at this time yesterday at that time yesterday so these words are used for denoting continuous past tense so he she this is third person singular so i have to use was when or verb and verb is ing so it was raining heavily so friend in today's answer session we have already discussed all the 16 sentences which i had given you earlier did you compare the answers how many blank marks are right how many sentences are right just get relaxed try to learn by heart all the formulas and the keywords friend we have already discussed the answers of 16 sentences in this answer session just try to compare the answers which you have written at your home how many are correct are all the answers right or wrong were there any mistakes in simple present tense simple past tense or simple future tense continuous present tense continuous past tense just try to find out and if you have done any mistakes if you continue doing the same mistake so i think you have not gone through you have not enjoyed my earlier video in which i have given you all the formula and the keywords for all the tenses so do enjoy my earlier video for clarifying all your doubts sure definitely that practice of watching earlier video for each tense will definitely help you friends so be confident be ready to do some more and more exercise if you have missed the opportunity of watching our earlier video don't miss the chance if you want to be confident you have to see friends you have to refer you have to enjoy our earlier video in which we have taken lots of pains to teach and train you separately for each tense we have given you the hints of keywords and formula okay friends be confident no problem don't feel confused are you enjoying this video friend did you like this tutorial did you like this video friend i am sure you are enjoying do like this video and just submit uh, please subscribe our channel for more and more updates okay friends see you in our next session bye